Shot vibes. Yeah. Red boys. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can I really talk just a little bit? Can I really, really talk just a little bit? Can I really, really talk just a little bit? Hold on. You coming at the dance? You coming at the dance? And you woke up ready? And you woke up ready? But you ain't bring no friends? You ain't bring no friends? Nor no family? Nor no family? You see the stranger on your left? On your left. You see the stranger on your right? On your right. Better start to jump up with them Cause we fighting in here to let y'all be chanting Together we drinking Together we whining One night we pumping Fed in till the morning Tell me how you feeling You know why? All I win the carnival All I win the festival All I win the bacchanal All I win Whatever you get I win on your bumper The coke push up In your zone. Yeah. Nobody here should whine alone. No. All of we end up in one place taking us space. This fetish. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lopez. I'm a YouTube life science teacher. So while you're jamming, I want to hear. Hi, I'm Michelle Colvin, and I'm also a U3 life science student. Barbados tends to import a lot of their dairy products, so our main objective was to potentially come up with a few products that farmers could produce locally. We specifically looked at goat yogurt and goat cheese, so they can have farmers can have value-added products in, within their small-scale production systems. Why we focused on the goat milk because we realize now that more and more people are into um, goat milk as a healthy alternative. And so therefore having a product made from the goat milk would also help to enhance the healthiness of the nation as well. Um, goat milk in itself is far easier to digest than cow's milk. It has less fat globules, um, so it makes it a lot easier on your stomach um, to be able to drink the goat milk. Our project consisted of having many trials of yogurt and cheese to obtain the most successful product. We also looked at the comparisons of the three breeds of milk, again looking at the milk composition and that too proved to be a challenge when making the yogurt. Some breeds of milk were higher in protein than others. So that was one of the components that we tried to look at and incorporate into the project. But it is so special, my response is natural, when I get the signal, oh, oh, oh. and I shout in, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, when I hear these we so can play, and then I start jumping, jumping, and I feel like fetting, fetting, the fact that I get in, get in, my reaction is spontaneous, the rhythm of the music was my trigger. We also analyzed the milk composition before making yogurt and right after adding the thickening agent to see um, how it would affect the composition of the milk. Big smile. 
shout it, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. When I hear this, we so can't play. And then I start jumping, jumping. We tried different thickening agents such as soy, soy milk powder, whey protein, and gelatin. We also used different incubation methods and times, and we covered all of these to attain the best uh, product possible. At the beginning, we did not use any thickening agents, and the texture was very slimy, very runny, it was not appealing to taste tasters at all. This one's not good. Yeah, this one's no sour. I, this one kind of tastes, tastes a little bit like goaty. Okay. Yeah, tasting the goat. So we analyzed three different thickening agents in this experiment. We decided to, to try a first thickening agent, which was soy milk powder. We ran trials uh, using soy milk powder, using different amounts, such as one teaspoon, two and three teaspoons. However, we were unable to get results using the lactic check because it is not compatible for soy milk powder. The taste <coughs> testers were quite impressed with the change in consistency. Um, although it was drinkable, the taste was much better and much more appealing than previous trials. This one tastes like goat. It's like really good. It's, it's, it's not sour. It doesn't taste like goat. I'm not even joking. Okay. Someone else try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's really good. The second thickening agent we tried was whey protein. Uh, again, we tried different amounts, starting at three teaspoons and then doubling it to six teaspoons. Uh, we found out that the texture became much better than previous trials. However, it was still comparable to the one with soy milk powder. It was still not thick enough compared to commercial regular yogurt. However, it was not, com not clumpy, it was not slimy, and the taste was better. We also tested the whey protein using different breeds. We used uh, Partagenberg, Alpine, and Sainan. We noticed that the fat and protein content went up for th the three breeds. The taste testers preferred the taste of the Tagenberg breed. Hmm. This one doesn't taste as much like cheese. No bad aftertaste, though. Yeah. It's a very mild, regular yogurt. So this, I kind of like this consistency better, just visually. Thicker. <laughs> thicker. Way thicker. Way <laughs> thicker. This one's a lot better than the other ones. I like the, uh, I like the consistency better too. Also, it's like it not as slimy. And it doesn't have a, like a weird aftertaste. So it's like edible. It's definitely the most yogurty. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Winner. The last thickening agent we tried was gelatin. We started by using three teaspoons. The texture was not appealing at all. It was very very thick but clumpy, and it was not the the thickness we were expecting. It resembled gelatin rather than yogurt. Taste tasters I rated it as very poor. They said it was sour, I had an aftertaste. Therefore, gelatin is not a recommended thickening agent. Oh, what is oh, it? Oh. Like the <laughs> <laughs> this one has an aftertaste. Really? Uh. <laughs> After carrying 13 different trials using different incubation methods, um, different temperatures, different thickening agents, we conclude that the best incubation method is using an insulated container to keep the temperature steady. The best thickening agent would be either soy milk powder or whey protein because they have similar results. And the yogurt desired would be the Greek yogurt rather than goat yogurt as an inoculum agent. Some of our future considerations for this project will be looking into different thickening agents as goat yogurt is quite runny naturally. Another component that uh, would be considered uh, would be different flavoring. 
agents and just different flavors that we can experiment. Um, so things like mango or just local tropical fruit or flavors could be experimented with. And finally, a third consideration would be um, different bacteria, um, but these would have to be imported, so this would definitely be in the future. We'd like to thank our wonderful mentors for helping us out this summer. The first one being Danielle Donnelly, John Vaughn and Deborah Rollins from Greenland, Chris Malta and Paul Nandalaisa. Thank you! Thank you. <laughs>